you don't necessarily what I'm saying is you don't necessarily have to announce to the entire world that you're you're the house to go to when things go wrong because you don't want every single person, you know, <laughs> showing up on your doorstep at the same time, you know? Right. It's sort of like the gun thing. I mean, you don't want everybody showing up with, at your house when the zombies break out, right? Right, right. Lloyd will protect us. He knows what he's doing. Let's all go camp out in his yard and, and wait for him. Faith, Firearms, and Freedom. This is Armed Lutheran Radio. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Armed Lutheran Radio, a show about guns, hunting, competitive shooting, the natural right of self-defense, and what God's Word says about the issues surrounding gun rights and gun ownership. I'm your host, Lloyd Bailey, The Armed Lutheran. This is episode number 324. Thank you so much for making Armed Lutheran Radio a part of your week again this week. For those of you who are new to the show, uh, welcome aboard and thank you for joining us. It's great to have you here. I hope you uh, enjoy what you hear and you will stick around for future episodes, maybe peruse the back catalog and see what kind of uh, fun stuff you might find uh, in our um, previous episodes, uh, this week's show, as is the case every week, is brought to you by the fine folks who are members of the Reformation Gun Club. Today, I want to give a special shout out to the disreputable Bartlett, Curtis from Junction City, Kansas, Mark from St. Paul, Minnesota, Kenneth from Sugarland, Texas, Dallas from Severance, Colorado, Dan from Enumclaw, Washington, Stuart from Spanaway, Washington, Turbo 1889, Matthew from Nixa, Missouri, and our newest member, Robert from Elk River, Minnesota. Thank you all, and to all of the members of the Gun Club, thank you for your support. If you would like to hear uh, tons of, of exclusive content, if you would like to help support the show, if you would like to get invitations to our monthly online hangouts, if you would be uh, like to uh, be a part of this exclusive uh, brotherhood of fellow um, uh, fans of the show. Let's just put it that way. You don't have to be a Lutheran to to be a member. You just have to enjoy the show and want to see it continue. Um, check out the Reformation Gun Club at armedlutheran.us slash gun club, or look for a link in the show notes for this or any of our future episodes and past episodes. Um, today we are, um, before I get started, I do want to mention, uh, for those of you who have not heard, the book uh, Duty to Defend, which of course has been out for a couple of years now, is getting a second volume. I, I called it uh, the second edition, but a friend, one of the contributors, gave it, uh, explained it to um, uh, one of our, well, I had a question on on uh, social media asking, well, what's the difference? You know, I just recently bought the first, the first edition. So, you know, what's, what's the deal with this, with this second edition? And um, one of our contributors, Phil Zelensky said, well, it's more like volume two. It's got um, 12, at this point, 12 chapters uh, by... <clears throat> I think it's 12 chapters by 11 pastors, seven of whom did not appear in the first edition, um, covering new material uh, that was not discussed in the first book. So that book, Volume 2, Duty to Defend Volume 2, is coming in December, and we just released the cover of the book uh, at our online hangout in uh, July. Um, and it is now available for pre-order. So if you go to armedlutheran.us slash duty, D-U-T-Y, um, you can pre-order the book now. It'll be coming out in December in time for Christmas gift giving. Uh, we'll be giving away some copies um, at our December online hangout as well. So um, look for that. 
Uh, the the first edition is still available, um, <clears throat> and I'm I'm not discouraging you from buying my book. Don't get me wrong, but if you're interested in the book, I would highly recommend you wait until the second ep- uh, second edition comes out, the the second volume, because it's it's got lots of great stuff, and um, really am indebted to. Uh, all of the wonderful um, people who contributed to the book, the, the pastors from all across the country, and uh, can't wait to um, <laughs> can't wait to dig into all the editing I've got to do. <clears throat> but um, you will get to um, you who who purchased the book will uh, reap the benefits of all the time I end up spending editing and all the time spent by these wonderful uh, pastors who um, contributed to the book. So. Uh, check that out again, armedlutheran.us slash duty, D-U-T-Y. Okay, um, was planning on doing a uh, variety show this week, <clears throat> and once again, life got in the way. I thought the big project that I was working on would be, um, once it kind of wound down, that life would get back to normal. It's gotten a little better. But it turns out that while I was working on that project for roughly the, the last year and a half, lots of other stuff piled up that I had to address <clears throat> this past week. And so didn't get a chance to uh, plan as well for this week's show. So this week, I'll be looking through there. I, I made note of some interesting news articles uh, that I, I wanted to comment on. And I thought I would share those thoughts and those comments with you in today's episode, but only if you are a member of the Reformation Gun Club. This is a Reformation Gun Club exclusive. This is the kind of content that only members of the Reformation Gun Club have access to. Uh, Again, if you would like to hear the rest of this episode and um, lots of... uh, exclusive content that we already have available, check it out at armedlutheran.us slash gun club. Uh, And for those of you who are not members, I will talk to you again next week in episode 325. For show notes, be sure to visit our website at www.armedlutheran.us. Check out the Facebook page, The Armed Lutheran, or join our Facebook group, Fans of Armed Lutheran Radio. If you like what you hear, please leave us a comment on our feedback page at armedlutheran.us slash feedback, or a review on iTunes, and let us know what you think. Thank you for listening to Armed Lutheran Radio, a member of the Self-Defense Radio Network.